So we are getting ready to head to the sipping shop. Um, it's like I ain't never been. I don't know what it's gonna like really be about. I think it's just like they're gonna have like vendors or whatever there and they're gonna want you to like spend some money or whatever because it's you know encroaching on the holiday season but i'm just going to look around <laughs> yeah but so i won um some tickets through um yelp atlanta and i'm getting like all access tickets so it includes um drinks and a gel manicure yeah yo. so that's gonna be my first stop because it's from 12 to 3 so it's been going on for a good uh <laughs> three hours now so i wanted to let that be my first stop dang what's up with all these u-hauls everybody moving everybody get the fuck out of here <laughs> I know, I just happened to be looking at the news and I was just like, oh my god, is that that apartment complex on the street? <laughs> you talking about over there? Shop, please. Uh, no, it's probably has, nah, that probably has something to do with construction, like them building the apartment, to be honest. I mean, it really didn't say, but that can happen anywhere, to be honest. When I first like moved to DC and I stayed in my apartment, bro, I was on like the 18th floor and like I swear like it was like two, three o'clock in the morning. I hear a fire alarm going off. But I had to walk down several flights of stairs and kind of find out somebody had left a bottle of perfume like near like the heater or whatever. And it started smoking, which caused the alarm to go off, the fire alarm to go off. Then it got to a point where something was wrong with the fire alarm and that shit kept going off. About the, about the second time it went off and when that happened and shot that third time, I didn't get out of bed. I was just like, I'm gonna give it to God. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in God's hands. Uh huh. Yo. Ooh, sorry. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna be on the floor, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna give it to God because. These, the, the alarm was going off during the week and I was getting up at like five, six o'clock in the morning to get to work. I had to be to work at eight o'clock. So sometimes I was getting up early so I can work out and then sometimes I just needed to get up because the traffic was so bad. It was taking me 45 minutes to get to work every day. And I was just like, shit, I ain't finna get up. Like I'm tired. Man, I rolled over and went on right back, right back to sleep. But the first time I had went off, Oh my God, I can hear my mom's like voice in my head. She always be like, oh, when you go to bed, you need to sleep in something you can run in. And I was like, why do I need to do all that? Like, why I just can't sleep comfortably? Because like, typically I sleep in like a t-shirt or a tank top and some shorts or long sleeve and some shorts, depending on like the weather or whatever. And so like, man, when that first time that alarm went off, <laughs> it was cold outside too. I ain't have nothing on that I can just run out of the house in. So I'm in my closet, like scrounging, trying to find something to like throw on so I can go downstairs. And all I can hear is my mom's like voice, you need to sleep in something you can run in. <laughs> Yo, that shit was funny. I'm, like, I'm in there like scrounging, like scrounging, trying to find something to put on so I can go outside because the fire alarm. This is at your last apartment? Nah, this was when like, my first apartment when I moved to DC. Uh, I was in a uh, high rise. And we had 24s, but I was on the 18th floor. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy because the smoke had started on the 16th floor. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, imagine like it's cold outside when i talk about cold this like georgia don't even get cold like DC and that's why i can't cold. go to dc right there like bro it I was like man the low was like 20 uh, and it's cold as fuck outside and the fire alarm the fire alarm never went off during the winter time no it went off during the i mean during the summertime it went off during the winter time so baby i had to make sure i grabbed my keys because i went and got i went and sat in my car because i was like uh -huh. Go, 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 be sitting out here, sitting out here, waiting. But yeah, when I tell you, it was just that's one of the things that I hate about DC. 
see it was cold way too long like it started getting cold like october it's, even like september starts cooling off october is cool and then it's cool from october to daggone shit really like march april march we still be getting snow in march oh, hell no. yeah so and yeah, that's my, right <laughs> it's cool to visit but yeah, like <laughs> it don't really like warm yeah, up. Cold. It don't really like warm up, warm up until like May, like maybe like two weeks before like Memorial. That's when it kind of like really starts to like warm up. And so yeah, cause I remember when I moved, when I first moved, I moved in March, and when I left Georgia, I had my sandals on. And when I got there to my place, I saw some remnants of snow on the ground. I'm like, what the hell they got going on? Or whatever. And I was just like, damn. Then I was thinking to myself, what, what did I get myself into? Like, I had to pull, like, I had to put up my winter clothes in Georgia. I get there, I had to pull that shit right on back up. I had to pull my winter clothes back up because it was cold. And then it had that, like, crisp air, too. So, and then, too, like, sometimes, like, with the apartments, too, up there that I had to learn, regular, under, uh, realize that they actually... Even though you have your own like thermostat like in your apartment and stuff, the they regulate the building like whether or not when they turn the air and uh heat on. So you know like now how it's like going from hot to cold, hot to cold, like now it's cool it last week after like on Monday or whatever, it got cold, right? Now it's back like seventy two, it's gonna jump up to eighty or whatever. So now you know like oh I'm, i need to put my air back on. But in DC some apartments you can't control whether or not yeah, your air. Yes. Yeah. So during this flip flopping, if they already and turn that heat on, baby, you gonna be hot for those three days of hot. You gonna have to pull out you a fan or whatever. Um, the can you close the vents? They got vents. Okay. I mean, but why would you do that? That takes away circulation. And you in a high rise building, you need circulation. Now what I'm saying is you can turn off the heat, but they break but you can't switch the air on because they switch it on. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to turn the vents off. They're not controlling your temperature. They're controlling whether or not you can use heat or air. So during the hot days, people will have their their thermostats off because it's blowing out heat. The heat is on. So it's blowing out heat. So you don't use it. And it's the same like in the springtime when you got the um when you got like say you get consistent days of hot and they cut the air on but then you have those few days of cool air where it's cool outside and you can't do they work fast on this uh, area but um when you got those cool days or whatever and the air is on you can't turn you can't turn your heat on so I would have a, I had a space heater. So on the days where the air was on and we had those random three days of like cool weather, then I used my space heater like to stay warm. So that was one of the things that I learned when living in DC is that depending on the apartment or whatever. But my last apartment wasn't like that. Like I can control whether or not I wanted the heat or the air on. So when we had those random days, I could like switch it um back and forth or whatever but if you was in one of them apartments where they control yeah better get you some blankets blankets and fans and needles space needles but, all right y'all so we almost there and i'm gonna check in with y'all like once we get there Nice. Hey, we're perfect. Right here, you get? Make sure you get us that camera No. Uh -huh. Um, it's on me. Mm -hmm. They got cute. They got cranberry, cranberry, caramel, uh, apple, daiquiri, and spice brown. Yeah, let's do the 
Nah, cranberry lemon jar. But actually, no. It's a lot. I do the caramel apple daiquiri with spice rum. It's a cute pumpkin. Oh, I got some syrup in here. Thanks. Hold this real quick. Let's do it. Yeah, so what you think about the drink? It's fire. I don't even like caramel, but it's good. Let me try. It's good. Yours are stronger than mine, though. Mm -hmm. I told you, I was like, should hit, hit you in the spine. All right, let's go. They got some tooth jams over here, y'all. Y'all ever had a tea gym? All right, so let's go to the, the manicure. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey. Okay. It's a lot going on in here, in this little small place. It's exciting to get some balls. It's office, get up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, boy. Oh, they got a lot. I see the camera. Yeah. All right. That's a whole lot of cash. Yeah. That's something for your girlfriends. Hey, guys. Okay, we bet. One dollar. What is? One dollar. Yes, for a minute. We got our cars. Um, in my pocket. Yeah. Y'all, this drink is fire. I'm not even, I don't even like caramel. This drink is I got way too much stuff in my hands. Oh, let me get a bag. No, it's too fine. It's not really in that. Oh, I want to try this place out right here. They have no plastic. It's a pole dance studio. That's what I want my winter. Uh, that's what I want my winter activity to be is uh, to do the pole dance. Because actually, Okay, so you remember this time, this time I told you I went to a concert and I went to the bar and I met this lady and her um I met this lady and her daughter. Mm -hmm. And so I followed we followed each other. This was my baby, like when I first moved out here, we followed each other and she be coming out here um to a uh, boutique and I see it on her Instagram I'm like all the time. And so I looked it up and they actually on class pass. So that might be like my winter like weekend activity slash like um what you call it? Active rest workout, whatever whatever. You should definitely do that. Okay. You should definitely do that. For sure. Y'all we're gonna put a stripper pole in the house. I'm gonna sneak up stripper pole in the house and then go tell her y'all. Too many. So this is green team with Y'all, mm. I like this. You want to try it? Mm. Okay. Sorry. You want to taste a little bit of pizza? Our brand is Carrie the triple meat tongue. It's really exciting. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 okay.
I get a little god uh, honey. Yes. Do you like chamomile? I don't really drink chamomile. Okay. I'm more of like I drink the tea for like caffeine. So like give me. Give me, oh, give me, because I'm not a coffee drinker. Gotcha, gotcha. So I'm kind of squishy. Because I feel like, because I feel like, um, like, muscle, like, 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 I like that one. I like that one. They come with um, nine, nine servings. Oh, okay, nine servings. Yeah. It is a loosely tea, and so we offer like these tea steepers. We have this as well as the tea steepers. All right. Um, I'll be the spice chocolate. Yeah. Okay. I love tea. Like, I have a cabinet just with tea. I got a whole little thing with tea. I got tons of mugs. I'm a big tea person. And uh, Jamaican spot is so nice to look away. Wait, I love it. Some dry chicken and rice and peas and beef patties. I but I was telling him, I was like, isn't it? I said, it's crazy. I'm so good at Jamaican spots when I was when they got great reviews. <laughs> good service. And I love Jamaican. I went to Montego Bay last year for my birthday, and I literally ate like jerk chicken, rice and peas, and beef patties. Like, okay. He was like, you want to a jerk chicken? I was like, I have not found good jerk chicken in Atlanta since I've been here. I need some jerk chicken. The best place I've ever been. Jamaican food has been in New York City. Really? It can go wrong, like every corner. And then I moved here. I was a little disappointed. I can't lie. I still haven't found like the best one. But I'm sure not sad. I can recommend it. I am because they um uh, they jerk real. All the way it fell off that bomb? Yes. <laughs> it was looking so good. I sent it to him. I said, we gotta go to Stone Mountain to get that jerk real because the way he was that sauce. He just, I said, you know what I'm saying? If he didn't know it was gravy, I'm like, baby, that's gravy. You put that on your rice and peas. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm flying this week. Let go. Oh, whatever. But thank you so much for the tea. Thank you. All right, have a good day. Yeah. But you know, if I was on my end, it would be some day I'll see you. I know. Didn't buy nothing else. Oh, I think that's laser, though. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah. That's cute. That um, That's really cute. Let's give them Michael Jackson. Let's give them like a like, holiday. That's what he's giving. I didn't get a card. It's just the team just needed some honey. Yeah. <laughs> Online shopper too, so that works perfect for me. I like that. Um, 
$15. It's a shot. That's how I set my shot. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah. I haven't used African blacks so I've been like years. Oh, no. I just get weary of like trying on shoes. Trying on homemade stuff. Cause I have sensory skin. Yeah. All right. Vaginal Titan gel. You saw that gel? Huh? You saw that gel? Too. Vaginal Titan gel. Oh yeah. Say so. Huh? You trying to say so? I need it. No, I was asking. Her. I, I, I need it. No, no. She don't need it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Butter milk bite. Give me like a shortbread kind of picture. And you said this is second most popular one? And the barbecue pork one. Um, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yeah. You want to try this one? Mm -hmm. You yeah, put them all out. Okay. Take the baby. Take the baby. Take the baby. Take the baby. Giving shortbread. <laughs> oh, that's better than the butter milk. Sure, yeah. Different textures. I love shortbread. Oh, I love it. Look at the man say sitting over here like he think he a king. Real niggas get their feet done. Real niggas get their feet done. His feet and his nails. I mean, I said it backwards. His feet and his nails. Y'all do is be cutting up y'all girls' feet. Turn up your girl's skin and, and cut up their leg. Talk about yourself. Child, you know, I didn't have to move my own foot. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm talking. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have to move my leg a couple times. I didn't finish I ain't gonna lie. But my things look like a wolf or something, bro. Yeah. Look like wolfies. <laughs> I don't know what side you had. I don't know what you did, but your own finger had like touched me. I was like, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was shot. <laughs> okay, well, let me know. See you, bye. Do you like to wear them a little higher or lower? I'm just like right just above my like ankle. Above your ankle? Okay. So that means that it's going to be a little tighter, okay? All right, how, t how tight? I'll have you, I'll put it on you, then I'll have you see how it is. Okay, good. <laughs> We don't want it too tight, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try right here. Okay. Sorry. False. Okay. <laughs> I dropped it.
Okay, I'm gonna try right here. Okay. So this is like mid. I'm gonna put, have you put your feet down to see how you like that. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's comfortable? Yes. Yeah, perfect. All right, I'm going to start welding. Okay. Uh, just make sure when I weld, don't look around me at it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a tuck test. Perfect, you're all set. All right, thank you. Good night, y'all. Cute. Okay, y'all, so I made it back from the sipping, the, the sip shop whatever thing and i'm like so annoyed because i was supposed to get a gel manicure and hold on let me turn this tv down because she's gonna turn this tv up all right so i was supposed to get like a free like gel manicure and it was like oh i have gel on my nails already and it was like oh we don't do a takeoff you know it's just an application and i'm just like you guys didn't tell me this like no one said anything about this and gel usually don't take that long to get off like a regular nail so anyway so i'm about to i just finished cleaning up me and bay let me fix the camera y'all um uh, so the only thing i just need to do to my day is just to sweep up around here and then sweep first and then do a quick the lights are on you have the mop in your hand or is that the broom okay they both red. Um, I just need a, a quick sweep around here and, and you then. Saw yeah, I already did back there. I I did from the foyer to here, but I haven't done anything else. Um, cause I knew I needed the like kind of. Do you think I need to turn the air on? Okay. Yeah, you right. I'm already starting. To... I'm hot already. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cause I'm kind of like, I'm trying to figure out if I, I should I put on a short sleeve shirt. Yes, I don't know you're in this weather. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, yes. Listen, I ain't gonna hold 
you, I was nervous. I told him, I said, I said, Tony want to cook for me. <laughs> I was like, and then she said she just started cooking a buck to go. I was like, Lord. Oh, no, she's just very good at following the directions. Yes. <laughs> Right, I have the login. Alright, cheers! Cheers! 